we have to talk a little bit about Drake's fit. Drake popped up on the Instagram um, recently looking very interesting this is obviously maybe a bit of a response to the you know deleting of the Kendrick Lamar this is on his Instagram maybe popping out to remind people that he's still out here but I think this is a great example of sometimes the sum of the parts don't make it a full part and sometimes the details are the most important thing ever when it comes to these sort of outfits so in this particular outfit or in particular post, Drake has uh, captioned it, Goats Don't Worry About One Trick Ponies, which I'm assuming might be a lyric from an upcoming song. Maybe he's commenting on all the Drake, Kendrick Lamar drama. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to focus more on the fit. He's watching his son play soccer somewhere, and he's got a fit where he's wearing a T-shirt, over and he's got a sweatshirt tied down over around it with some big baggy trousers that look like they might be tweed. They look like they might be linen. I'm not too sure. Not not tweed. Maybe linen trousers. Um, they're they're pleated. They're really um, baggy, very oversized, and a cable and a web. Sorry, not cable belt. Um, I'm not sure what you call that actual the the style of belt that he's got on. But if you see it, you'll see it. But it doesn't matter. And a Rolex on his ring and some and some aviator glasses on. Now, in my personal opinion, I think the look misses in a lot of parts because of the proportions and the details number one detail being the t-shirt the t-shirt is too wrinkly too baggy and doesn't fit right he needs a t-shirt to actually fit in maybe a little bit small maybe on a bit more on the fitted side a bit more on the smaller side he also needs to have a tighter neck hole in my personal opinion um just to make it fit a little bit better so when you're tucking it in it doesn't have so much bellowing on the outside here on the when they tuck it in there but you know what i mean though the bellowing here it needs a little bit more work i think it's even got something sticking out here somewhere so that needs more work also the sweatshirt that he's got over his shoulders is too thin it's not thick enough he needs a thicker jacket a thicker sweatshirt maybe a contrasting color maybe a purple a lilac maybe something a bit more of a pop maybe even a green just something to pop it or keep the white if you want to or maybe switch it actually maybe have the t-shirt be white and then have this shirt be the ivory kind of off-white color but it needs to be a little bit more thicker and the knot also is the knot done right the knot needs to be a little bit more not like the, the the arms need to be falling on either side they kind of you know it's done really haphazardly in my personal opinion it doesn't really look that great um i also don't like the shades with this look personally i would maybe get rid of them or maybe wear some different shades i just don't like those aviators with that particular look and then of course the pants themselves don't really sit right they're probably a little bit too big for him anyway um maybe um i don't like the proportions and maybe the most important thing is the hem these need to be shortened these should be shortened and the shoes are horrendous i don't know what those shoes are but they look disgusting so you should change those shoes and have the hem maybe come up just above his ankle or maybe just in line of his ankle so it shows a bit of skin and then go barefoot or no socks but probably barefoot um or if you got no sock no show socks wear some loafers some gh bash loafers with those would look fucking perfect or if he goes no socks he'd wear these particular shoes courtesy of street night live big up my nigga street night live he does some great stuff he's on instagram he's on twitter mostly where i follow him but he had these shoes that he previewed on his page i'm not too sure what the brand is oh it's um c bago i'm not too sure what that model is either but whatever this model is if you can see here on the screen it kind of looks like a loafer but it has more of like um a mary jane type of look to it at the front with some holes in it and it's like suede um suede finish you can wear them easily without socks it kind of reminds me of a um, talented mr ripley the shoes that they wore in that fucking show in that movie sorry so that would look perfect with that look i think personally maybe the brown pair or maybe this like chestnut brown pair as well would look way better with this look but again the hems need to be cut just maybe near his ankle so they're just straight and it's sort of got all this baggy excess here um, and then maybe have a no socks turn there but the details are what matter and again with the jewelry i think the jewelry is also a miss with this particular look i think with this particular look i'd probably get rid of maybe wear the rolex and get rid of this big gaudy diamond thing and just wear a signet ring that's it get rid of even the the, the bracelet just make it really simple 
um, and just wear like a nice signet ring, maybe a gold one with these initials and that Rolex and you're fucking ready to roll. Do you know what I mean? But that T-shirt is just too big, too baggy for me or too fit. It's not fitted enough. It needs to be more fitted. It's too wrinkly too. It needs to be steamed or ironed and that knitwear top on top needs to be thicker or, the, or it needs to be tied in a little bit more of an intentional way so that both of the arms are kind of splaying on the side. But again, you know, it's nice to see him mixing up his style a bit, but unfortunately, it is a bit of a miss. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a miss. He's my goat. He's my guy. Um, he won the beef against Kendrick. I don't care what the fuck anyone says, but I don't really like how it's come together. He just needs to edit some proportions and shit and whatever else it may be. But again, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nada.